Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Geraldine. In today's video, I am going to talk about how you can simplify your systems. And if you don't have any systems in your business right now, I'm gonna quickly show you with three simple steps what you can do to start creating systems. Now, if you're a business owner or a solopreneur, having systems make a huge difference when you are working with clients, when you are looking to grow your business, looking to scale your business. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why it's so important, so the benefits of having systems. So I have worked with multiple business owners in different industries and I always learn something new when it comes to systems because not systems are the same, not all businesses are the same. When I get on calls with business owners, I want them to be honest with me, be upfront and really tell me what their problems are. Most of the time, they're open to tell me what their biggest bottlenecks are, so the behind the scenes, their operations, because some of them, I would say majority of them, either have no systems in place, so they are burnt out, they are working way too much and are overwhelmed, or they have some systems in place, but they are the ones who are maintaining them. Meaning if something's no longer working, they have to go and figure it out, fix it. If they have automations in place, they're the ones that are troubleshooting them if they break or whatever it is. So I'm gonna go over three things why business owners avoid creating systems and what you can do as a business owner or a solopreneur start creating the systems in order to run a well-oiled machine. Now, when it comes to systems or just building anything in your business, I don't like to complicate things. I like to make things as lean and simple as possible. So the first reasons why business owners avoid creating systems is because they honestly don't have an urgency to fix what they have. Sometimes they don't know what they need and they just get used to the day-to-day, -day, you know, doing tasks, doing projects, delivering services for their clients. They, they don't worry about their business systems or they just don't know where to start. So in order for a business owner to identify that this is a huge problem, is taking the time to audit their business. This is something that I personally do for my business because if I'm able to save time, energy, and money in the long run, I am going to look at my business holistically and do a quick audit. I like to do them on a quarterly basis just because I know that there's something that I can always improve. So the next thing is that sometimes business owners, when I get on a call with them, they they think that they need to have some of these systems in place. It's kind of like when you hire a cleaner to come to your house, but before they get there, you do a little bit of cleaning yourself, right? So it's kind of like that. Now, that's not necessarily true. You don't need to have systems in place before you hire a integrator or a systems expert. And the reason for this is because you don't have the time. You don't have the time, you don't have the energy to set apart time and build out these systems. So the whole point of working with a systems expert or like an integrator is to help you really identify and just get clarity overall of what systems you need for your business right now. Not thinking about the future, not thinking about what's happened in the past. It's what you're currently doing, where your business is at now, and then building out those systems. So for example, if right now you are a solopreneur, it's just you yourself, then you don't need to worry about anything that has to do with uh, HR or creating job descriptions or a whole um, hiring, onboarding, 
process for new team members. In the future, let's say if that's one of your goals for this year in Q3, Q4, then you create these systems at the end of Q2. Now, the third reason why business owners avoid creating systems is because they don't know where to start. They don't know how impactful a systems expert or an integrator can be in their business. I have helped business owners, and one in particular, create some automations that have saved their team so much time in the long run. And sometimes, you know, this is, these are our skill sets, right? We can look at a process or a workflow that you are doing manually and easily come up with a system for it. Whether it's an SOP that you can delegate to someone and if, if it has to be done manually or create an automation so no one has to do it and we just maintain it. And like I mentioned before, every business is different. Every system is going to be unique for your particular business. So if you are wanting to to hire a systems expert or you know you need the help and support, don't hire a virtual assistant to just delegate tasks. Hiring a VA or just another team member is not going to solve this problem when it comes to your systems. You really need someone who has the skill and the expertise. You need someone who's going to be there to support you, to answer your questions and everything. And then you can delegate or hire team members to support you and your business. So the next time you as a business owner feel overwhelmed or you're just burnt out, first think of who you can hire to help you solve this problem instead of brushing it under the rug or hiring the wrong person to help you. Now, if you are a do-it-yourself type of person or you are a solopreneur, a one-person show, I have a masterclass that I recently launched where I show you the exact framework on how to simplify your current systems or if you are starting out, how to create these systems and maintain them. Again, like I mentioned in the beginning, I don't like to complicate things or make things hard. I give you the exact framework that I use with my one-on-one -on -one clients. All the information is down below in the description if you are interested. But I hope this video was helpful and don't be a business owner that does not have systems because creating systems are not nice to have. They are a must to have, especially when you are growing and scaling. If you have any questions about systems in general, comment below. Thank you again and I will see you on the next one.